the ignorance of youth and naivete is a, an amazing thing. When I was 20 years old, I decided I wanted to play music and become famous in Nashville. So two friends and I packed our gear in a 1968 Mustang and headed south on I-75. I'm not sure why, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. I had $60 in my pocket and all the confidence I needed. Well, it was late when we pulled into Nashville and we had no place to stay, so we were camping out in a parking lot of a Sherwin-Williams paint store when a policeman happened by with his blue lights flashing. He asked what we thought we were doing camping out in this parking lot. And when I told him we were there to find our fame and fortune in the music business, well, <laughs> he just shook his head and said, boys, I cannot let you sleep here. But follow me and I'll get you to a cheap motel. And so we followed him to the Thunderbird Motel, which was indeed an inexpensive establishment. When we got into our room, I couldn't help but notice there was blood on the sheets of the bed. Welcome to Nashville. No, me and the boys, we headed on down to a place in Tennessee. The air was sweet, we played the street, oh man, we were something to see. There was blood on the sheets of a cheap motel, it didn't matter much to me. Had a Martin guitar and a Mustang car, oh man, we were something to see. Yeah. This was long before unraveling unscrambled lies and grief. Before the fall, before the mega mall, before reasons to deceive. Our conflicts were invisible, our illusions were invincible, and every song was righteous, full of reasons to believe. Yeah, but we were not afraid. No, we we're not afraid Well, the Nashville thing didn't exactly go as planned Suffice it to say, we did not secure a recording contract and Our street busking efforts garnered little in the way of monetary re reward Although we did play on the front steps of the Ryman Auditorium until a janitor came out and told us we had to move or he was going to call the police. After a few days, we got hungry and headed on back home. You know, lovers came and lovers left, came and left again. Lines from every angle, so entangled in the end. There was a bakery out in Bisbee, haunted ground and a mystery. And dreams that got all mangled and strangled in the end. Oh, but we were not afraid. No, we were not afraid. Since the Nashville thing didn't pan out, my friend and I decided to try our luck in New Orleans. This time we slept our, in our car in a parking lot of a psychiatric hospital in Slidell, Louisiana. And no one bothered us there. I got a gig at the original Papa Joe's and I must say that the French Quarter was quite an educational experience for a small town kid from Ohio. <laughs> oh my, the things that people do there. Well, one thing led to another, 
and in time we drifted apart Well, one went west and one went south and one just turned away one fixed pools, one went to school with nothing left to say. And the car died a rusting just like us somewhere along the way. Unspoken things and broken strings and everyone went gray. We were not afraid. No, we were not afraid. Free.